Carl Jamieson is a New Zealand fast bowler that has emerged as a key member of the test bowling attack due to his steep bounce that has international batsmen hopping around the crease. Ball, awkward, pacey. Here we'll be analysing the bowling action of the giant New Zealand quick. The first key attribute of Carl Jamieson is his height. Standing in at 6 foot 8, he has the ability to generate steep and awkward bounce from a good length. Due to the fact he can extract bounce from the surface, forces the batsman to play from the crease, allowing him to nick them off. This is because the batsmen are concerned about the rising delivery hitting the splice of the bat or hitting the body. Jamison, like many fast bowlers, has a smooth run-off to the crease and keeps his arms close to the body, maximizing the forward momentum towards the crease. As Jamison enters his delivery stride, he lands on the back foot, which points to the leg side, indicating he's a side-on bowler. However, as his hips rotate through, we can see that he has a mixture of a side-on and chest-on action. Through his load up, Jameson keeps his front arm and bowling arm compact which allows him to bowl in a straight path through to the target with his bowling arm. At the back foot contact, Jameson's front arm is bent above his head and he comes through and braces. His front arm comes down but it doesn't keep as close and tucked into the body like typical bowlers. This is an indicator of lateral flexion which we'll discuss later in the video. Jameson's front foot lands in line with his back foot to maintain the forward momentum towards the crease. He has an excellent brace front leg which allows the bowling arm to come through down a straight path. This is one aspect of his bowling action that enables him to bowl at a brisk pace to complement his height. It's well documented that Jameson has had his troubles with back injuries, with him recently experiencing another stress fracture of the back. Although most aspects of his bowling is pretty solid, there is evidence of lateral flexion that may be contributing to his back issues. As you can see, Jameson's head falls away to the offside, causing the lateral flexion. From behind the bowler's arm, we can see that the head and body are pulling away to the offside as the bowling arm comes through. In reviewing Jameson's bowling action, the area that he could work on is the alignment of his run-up and jump past the umpire. As he approaches the umpire, he angles in off the left foot, so initially he's leaning away, then launches forward. Here he can focus on simple drills to approach the target with a slightly straighter alignment to keep the momentum moving forward and keep his body more upright as he launches off the left foot. The positioning of Jameson's front arm could be stronger to encourage his bowling arm to pull his body down straighter as he braces over his front leg. As you can see here, Jameson's front arm pulls slightly outside his eye line and his head follows suit as he pulls away. If he uses the front bowling arm as a guide that is more aligned centrally, then this will provide better alignment and positioning through the crease to reduce the amount his torso is bending to the offside. Kyle Jameson is an excellent fast bowler who would fit in any test attack in the world. He has an intimidating frame that can pin batsmen to the crease and has the ability to pick up wickets at regular intervals. Hopefully he can make the necessary adjustments to allow him to bowl more frequently as he is one bowler we are all keen as cricket fans to watch.